Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're doing a Switch Lite versus a Nintendo Switch comparison. So, a Nintendo Switch versus a Nintendo Switch comparison. Let's get into it. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Face off time. That was so cringy. If you have a Nintendo Switch, like me, I have a Nintendo Switch. If you don't know the difference, you can like take the Joy Cons off of this one. This Nintendo Switch, which makes it an actual Nintendo Switch. And then the tablet is just the tablet itself, which turns on. Yeah, and then you can snap the Joy-Cons back on, like so. I'm not going to put the other one on for one second. This is the comparison of Nintendo Switch versus Nintendo Switch Lite. Of if you wanted your Nintendo Switch to be as small as a Nintendo Switch Lite. Which it will never be, but... Sorry. If you want it to be portable. This is like the same exact width as a normal Nintendo Switch without one of the Joy-Cons on. So, same width. This, so you'd be playing like this, basically. Except this would be obviously much more curved. Like oh, sorry, I keep jumping in. Another thing is, like, the Nintendo Switch, um... The Nintendo Switch, honestly, to me, it feels flimsier and less durable. Because these Joy-Cons, as you can see here, they wobble a lot. Well, you can't see it on camera. Well, this is just one sturdy, good-feeling device. It's good for playing games, like, obviously, like Pokemon. It's better for Pokemon, actually, because Pokemon, you're going to want to play handheld. You're not going to want to play it unless you want to play on the TV. I can transfer my stuff and then play it on the TV. That's why I like this. So I can just transfer it, play on the TV, and then take this if I'm going on a trip, like I'm going to Universal for a little bit. One last thing I must point out is the thickness. It's not that different. Um, yeah, there's no difference at all. Also, Nintendo Switch Lite, which I thought it was kind of cool, has an SD card slot, but it actually opens. These are the speakers for Nintendo Switch Lite. Run here. Run here. USB Type-C, basically USB Type-C, Full capability, just like the normal Nintendo Switch, except it doesn't have the docking capability. And maybe some others. I don't know what it cut out, but yeah. These buttons feel better on Nintendo Switch. These feel better, better on Nintendo Switch Lite. And yeah, and one thing I got to say finally is Nintendo Switch is bad. This is why I love the Nintendo Switch Lite, just the attached joy cons, because this is why. Yep. I just hit it from the bottom and it came out. It annoys me so much. If this didn't happen in Nintendo Switch and it was like as hard as this, like just a little bit more harder to take off without pushing the buttons, I would so get it. But it's not smooth when you click it in either. Like it feels smoother on this side. Oh, like you heard that and you hear this. That's much different. So overall, the Nintendo Switch, even though it does feel really good in the hands, honestly, you gotta say, it does feel good in the hands and it's a good console for when you're gaming, I would say that the Nintendo Switch Lite is the best way to go if you are fine with it not docking, you are fine with it not switching like a normal Switch. And you're with fine with it, just overall it's on capable features and capabilities. And the Nintendo Switch Lite, it's both of them, the Nintendo Switch and Nintendo Switch Lite, both of them are good pickups. But honestly, to me, the Nintendo Switch Lite is better because it does what I want it to do. I don't really want to play Pokemon Docked, but eventually when I'm done with Pokemon playing it on this, after like a week maybe after I come back from Orlando, I'm going to transfer on here, it's just obvious, for a little bit at least, until I'm done playing it on the TV. I want to experience on the TV, but then I'm going to play most of my games on here after I'm done experiencing on the TV. This was an, an intensive review of the Nintendo Switch versus Nintendo Switch Lite. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and do all that, otherwise Llama Man will eat you. And, um... Until then, I'll see you guys in two days. What's happening in two days? 
I'll tell you tomorrow, or maybe on Friday. It might be a Pokemon game that's announced and coming out, and everyone's going to be playing it, because three of my friends pre-ordered it. Yeah, four, actually. See you guys later.